Hey guys, Serge Daniel here. I'm one of the co-founders of Simple at Inc, a Notion website builder. So um, let's see, today we're doing a podcast website uh, in Notion. We've got this presentation page here. Um, we're showing a couple of, of the things you can do with it, a couple of benefits and advantages, a quick how-to, blah, 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 blah. I'll just show you uh, what that means in, uh, not in theory, but in practice. So um, I have my notion page right here this is a notion page just like anything goes just create one and uh, whatever do your thing i have added for mine i've added some text a picture of myself the latest episode and this is an embed from spotify um check our youtube channel or if you're watching this on youtube go to our homepage, check out how we're doing this i think it looks and I, i've been honest here i said i just added a spotify player because it looks coolest but um this is how it looks like otherwise I don't even use Spotify myself. Um, some highlights. Anyways, whatever. This is the website. Um, this method is free, it's fast, and it's optimized for as little headache as possible. So um, you can, you're either ready with your website, with your Notion page, or if you want to save time, just get one of our templates in here. Uh, we'll add more than what's <clears throat> visible in this, in this video. Um, and click duplicate edit your thing, but whatever, from the moment you're done, this way you'll do. You need to go to share in the upper right corner. Very important, go to share, don't get this link. Go to share, tick this on, share to web. And now you get something like this, a word or two, dot notion, dot site, slash, blah, blah, blah. Click copy and um, you can either paste it here or on our homepage or whatever, anywhere you find this specific form, paste it and click try creating a new website. Now I, myself, I already have an account, so I want, don't wanna trigger a new account. I wanna stick to mine. So what I'll do is, or if you already have an account, just follow this, add a new website in your simple.ink dashboard. Um, paste the link right here. So I'm doing command V, or you can do right click paste, or you can do control C if you're on a Windows, but this is what it does. If you would have used this, oh, and I just said on the homepage, but it's here as well. Uh, if you would have used this, you would have gotten to this exact same place. So we're, we're, we're at ground zero right now. Where will your website be? By default, simple.inc gives you a sweet, short subdomain. So um, no, it gives you a free subdomain, but the domain is sweet and short. That's a better way to put it. So you can just type in anything. I'll call mine the uh, usual suspects. I'm using some dashes so that if there's another usual suspects podcast out there, it won't be, um, I won't just take your domain. So pick anything. If you've got a custom domain such as the usual suspect.com, .io, .so, whatever, save that. Everybody starts on a free plan to make it easy and simple. And then if you want to add a custom domain, that's a paid feature. You need to get onto a paid plan. But, 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 it's free, uh, we've got a generous free plan. So using a simple.ink subdomain is free and I think quite useful. Anyway, that aside, clicking the blue shiny button and this processes it. Now, um, it will take a couple of seconds for the website to be done. But in the meantime, what I can do is I can make some changes here, um, not to zoom in not zoom out. I can make some changes here. I can make sure my website is ready or I can take this chance to go on the sidebar, site customizations, site settings, um, change the site title or description or let's just go one by one for these. So site title, this is what appears in the upper bar but also in search engines. So if somebody search, searches the usual suspects podcast. Let's see. Um, this right here with blue is what the website will be. So the usual suspects by Daniel. There we go. Inside description is what will appear right here, right below the color text. So uh, oh, I just copied this one because this isn't really, really. There we go. This doesn't. I've written that, so it isn't really, really plagiarism. Um, Favicon. Favicon is, as you can see, what appears in the upper bar. So this G logo right here on Google, 
this the notion logo our logo if you click this just drop a picture and we'll do the rest preview image for social media this is what appears on as the name suggests on twitter on facebook on whatever you know when you share a link and there's that big box uh the title and the description will come from here as well and the picture you can say you can uh, add a custom one but um i don't want to add that now i just want to confirm the changes um perhaps i should have gone through the creation of the website but i mean if you need this just message us or in the live chat um where is the live chat oh this is not our website in the live chat right here and uh, just ask me for the template i'll be happy to give it to you if if it helps you if not use some of the free templates we have added right here and edit that and present your podcast link all your episodes uh, or whatever and um once you do that turn that into a into a website so um let's see what was i meant to do all right save these things now on the sidebar if i click this button right here see the live website this should take us to the no it doesn't all right consider that done um we had a quick snafu but if you're seeing this me fixing it it means you won't encounter it so there we go um, i'll just type it in manually so the d dash usual dash suspect it may be caused by the fact that i've used this very weird name right here dot simple dot ink and there we go it was all working all this time um let's see live website same things this should work but i don't want to make it work right now because i'm recording this video in case you haven't noticed highlights blah 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 links are working now here's the beautiful part you have a oops another website sorry another podcast episode you want to link here because it's this not the first not the second but your third favorite what you can do is if you go to the notion page i'll just duplicate it or ah screw it let's do it let's just pick a new let's just pick a new um episode so i'll take this let's say episode 27 take the link command c go to my notion page and inside how am I doing this? There we go. Click, embed, paste the link, and it should appear. But I don't want it there. Yeah. Something like, I mean, I've done Anchor now. It could have been Spotify just as fine. That's the thing. So I've added this right here. Now, in a couple of seconds on the live website, if I have a tiny bit of patience, um, this should appear. There we go. So as soon as you make some changes on your Notion page, they get translated to your website, which I think is amazing because once you see us once over here, we see face-to-face, -face, um, then what happens is you can just stick to your Notion page, Notion app, and just do changes here. Made a typo, just change it. I mean, fed back. Wait a couple of seconds and um, let's, let's take this out. I, I don't want to be contacted anymore on DM or I don't want you guys to join my community on Reddit. But low-key I do, so please join if you're into SaaS. I don't want that anymore. No problem. Go into Notion, change it. In a couple of minutes, it will be live on the website. Uh, want to change something else? Want to change this picture? No problem. Changing Notion, wait a couple of seconds. It's all live. The This thing, the latest episode, this is automatically built by Spotify. So this is quite automatic. I don't have to do anything else here, but... Maybe one day, I don't just don't want to support iTunes anymore. Go here, take it out, wait a couple of seconds, or just go on with your business, and that's it. So I think that's the beautiful part. Now, anything goes right here is we have some FAQs. Uh, we are showing you a couple of reasons. I don't know, maybe you want to convince a friend to use Simple, I think. A couple of reasons why you should use our Notion podcast website builder. Um, a quick how to, taking this the other way around, but... You, you're getting the point. I was trying, uh, in, in this video, the point was to show you live, practically speaking, what it meant to build a podcast website with Notion. Once again, from the moment the Notion page is done. But um, this is, this this was it. It's no code. It's free. It's hassle-free as well. Um, takes, I mean, I've taken the long way here trying to explain all this stuff, but ideally people, once they start building websites with Simple.ink, they get 
not addicted because we don't want to be damaging to society, but they keep on creating more. And this is really why we've made simple. I think I'll, I'll end soon. But the point is when people have lower barriers of creation, more stuff is being created, obviously. And maybe stuff that would have been created otherwise. And maybe it is the stuff that will change the, the world. But this isn't why I clicked on this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know what else uh, you want us to cover for your podcast websites. Let us know if you need any help right here. You can find us right here. And uh, thank you for, for watching. I hope your podcast will be thriving and you have a <laughs> fewer things to worry about now that this no-code website builder is here to help you. Cheers. See you next time.